a hundred million dollars look like an impossibility. I am amazed at how successful this campaign has been. I would imagine at the time it started, nobody actually knew how it was going to happen. It looked impossible, and people really stepped up to the plate all over the place to make this happen, and I think it really shows what's possible. This campaign has provided us with a, a number of very powerful um, um, gifts that will produce tremendous things down the road, from student scholarships to uh, investments in student-focused um, initiatives. Probably the majority of the money that we got has been for student scholarships, and, and that's just been wonderful. I do believe it's very important to raise money to provide students scholarships, to provide them an opportunity for education. Um, many people are coming from rural backgrounds or backgrounds with limited resources and without the scholarship money it would be very difficult for them to attend. People need to get a college education today um, in order to be successful and for a lot of people that's really tough. Uh, I was one of those people and I know that SIU is a great school and they do everything they can with the funding they're given, but that's not always a lot either. So I think that um, the friends, family, alumni, anyone who supports SIU is, is helping people like me um, get the degree, get, get the better life and the life that they want. It funds my research. It makes me uh, able to buy the materials that I need to keep my research going. It also offers an opportunity that is very, very rare, which is undergraduate research. A lot of places don't offer positions like that for undergrads, and it really makes a difference in your career when you go to apply for graduate school, when you go to apply for jobs. The fact that you have so many years of research by the time you get there, when most graduate students don't even have any research experience yet. And so it does provide a huge opportunity to change lives, uh, to make an education available, many times for the first time in their, their family's history. A lot of the deans, as well as a lot of the senior administration at a university, are first generation college students. I'm one myself, my parents left school at 14, and I know what a challenge that is to students, not just in terms of money, but in terms of support and you know, fitting into the environment. But, you know, they get some help uh, paying tuition or buying books or whatever, and they're able to come to uh, get a good education. Uh, they might not otherwise be able to do that. I think uh, it's very important for donors, uh, alumni and donors, to give back to the school because it not only allows uh, the university to keep on enhancing their programs, but it also gives the opportunity for students like myself uh, to earn a degree. You know, a degree that I would have never gotten if I would have never had the opportunity. A gift from alumnus Dick Blotto and his wife Bridget established the Blotto ATS program for technical leadership in manufacturing, designed to discover and educate the next generation of technical leaders who have the charge of sustaining and strengthening the future of American manufacturing. Dick Blotto and ATS has, have given us some uh, guidelines on, on what it is that make, uh, that will make future technical leaders uh, more effective for them. So what we try and do is we try and round out and complement the skills that they need to be these technical leaders. We do such things as persuasive speaking, networking opportunities, uh, dining etiquette. They spend an entire summer up there working with uh, customers like Caterpillar where they're applying their, uh, their knowledge already and many of them have been very successful. Uh, they've, they've done Six Sigma projects that have mounted to almost a million dollars in cost savings. And hence, all five of them have received career offers from ATS now. Probably the biggest event was our largest gift in this campaign was in cash. And the donor simply said, uh, make something happen. Now, that's, that's an outstanding situation to be in because then you can, you have the flexibility to start investing in those student-oriented programs, those faculty-oriented programs, people, places, programs, facilities that will move us forward. So this has been an outstanding experience. We received a million-dollar grant um, to uh, 
uh, create a chair situation which I receive interest from and it benefits my research and I can use the money to help with my students needs as far as research and scholarship. Uh, we can buy equipment, you know, it's quite loose in terms of what we're able to do which gives us a lot of flexibility and helps us to address a lot of the different types of needs that we face within our program and within my own research. John Simmons and his wife Jane helped kick off the campaign with the announcement of a $10.2 million gift to support programs and services at the state-of-the-art Simmons Cooper Cancer Research Center. Well, number one, it enabled them to move forward with construction in the building and, and that. Number two, I think we're endowing a chair um, which will exist to, um, for cancer research. And then obviously, uh, you know, it's a treatment an academic and a research institute all in one. This is something different. It's a quantum leap. In this building, we will have clinicians, translational researchers, and basic scientists all under the same roof being able to interact with one another and talk about ways to do this better. Six years ago, Southern embarked on its first ever comprehensive campaign with an ambitious goal of $100 million. Tonight, we celebrate the successful achievement of that goal, and we say thank you to everyone who made contributions of time, expertise, and financial resources to the effort. As we've just seen, the funds raised have already begun to make a difference in the lives of numerous students, faculty, and others. Well, I think also the campaign has uh, created an incredible amount of momentum as well to move forward in, into what's next. So not only is it about, you know, accomplishing just an incredible uh, goal, but it has created momentum. For a first-time campaign to have raised over a hundred million dollars to me is just amazing. And I think it, you have to be enthusiastic about it because then you say, ask yourself, well, could we do another hundred million or another hundred million after that? And I don't know that we know what the upper limit could be. Well, I would like to see another campaign get kicked off. And again, I, you know, I'm not trying to put more on Ricky McCurry's plate, but um, I think that's where we need to head. I'm still excited. <laughs>